I have three children of the ages five, nine and 11 at home with me. I have a 13 year old uh, teenage son um, at home with me at the moment. I've got two toddlers at home with me during this time, so that's two twin boys. I have a four year old boy here at home with me. Um, I've been sharing my workplace with him for the last six weeks or so. In my blog, I gave some tips around things like uh, keeping a routine, things like packing lunch boxes every day for the kids so they have their food supply for the day, uh, adjusting your work schedule where possible to line up with the kids' routine, and also things like just getting plenty of sleep. We all know what kids are like when they don't get enough sleep. They struggle to concentrate and they can get stroppy and so can I, quite frankly, too. So I think plenty of sleep is really definitely a key to having a smoother day. Sleep is so important. I, um, I've really made that a priority um, and some self-care just to make sure that my mental health um, and well-being is as good as it can be. I spend the night before having a look at what my kids will be doing at, as part of school the next day and I try and preempt what they might need. So the, all the things like, you know, the headphones, the paper, the scissors, all that sort of stuff and making sure everything's labelled so they can't fight over those things during the day either. They know whose is whose. Um, so just having those things at their fingertips so it just reduces those interruptions that happen throughout the day. I can book my one-to-ones in with the team and I can take the boys for a walk around the block in the pram and take them off to the park and stand there with my team on a Zoom call and it's not um, impacting work or home life too much. Make peace with the idea of, um, yes, I'm not going to have a very structured day. Um, it's not going to be, you know, the traditional kind of nine to five setting or eight till four or whatever that might look like for, for, for you. Um, it's going to be very different. Um, so acknowledging that and accepting that was the first challenge. Also, <laughs> this is an example of what happens. Um, so I guess my single saving grace as a single parent is just embrace the mantra that just doing enough is good enough um, and reminding myself that I'm essentially performing two full-time jobs uh, with absolutely no assistance. So all of these balls that I have juggling in the air, one is bound to drop, probably a few will drop, and that's okay. Make sure you have strict cutoff time because you're at home. There's a danger that you can always work because your work's at home now. Everyone's at home, so you've got to have those really clear start and finish times. And when it creeps outside of that, you need to start being really ruthless with what is critical, what needs to happen, and what can I reprioritize? You know your kids best, you know your family situation best, so do what works best for your kids and for yourself, and um, yeah, don't fall into the trap of comparing yourself with anybody else.